Hello, I'm EV17, and today I'm going to show you how to upgrade an M Creator mod, Fabric M Creator mod, from the latest version as 1.17.1 .1 to the version that's most recent. So for you, this might be different, but at the time of recording, the most recent version is 1.19. So, um, some things might change, and I'm going to explain it along the way as I go. So, I've got my mod here. It's just a simple hello command, and then a block. So, you're going to want to export the mod uh, for distribution. And once you've got that mod, which I've got mine here, you're going to want to make sure, by clicking on View, Show, that this file name extensions is checked. By default, um, well, this is for Windows 11. Um, I'm not sure exactly how it works on Windows 10. Might automatically do it, but you are going by default on Windows 11. This is not checked, so it's going to look like that. So you want to make sure that is checked, so you can see .jar. So now you're going to want to change it from .jar to .zip. And if it brings this up, yes, we do want to change it. Because that's going to allow us when we open it up to see all the mod files. So we're going to copy this in a new folder. We're going to paste it. We're going to start from the bottom and go up. So, pack.mc meta, this number you're going to change. For me, because it's 1.19, I'm going to put in a 9. Now, for later versions, it might be a 10, or it might be a different number. If it changes and it's not a 10 for 1.20 or whatever, I'm going to put that in the description when the time comes. But one way to find out is if you download a resource pack for that version, you can find it in the pack.mc meta file as well. So if you want, you can change your mod description to whatever you want, I guess. So I'm just going to go, um, hello. And I can save and close out. Now you're going to want to open your fabric.mod.json and in here you can see uh, information about the mod. So I've changed author, but you can do that, uh, your homepage, sources, whatever, um, but here is something and here's another thing. And I guess you could change this one as well. So the most recent version of Java is Java 17, so I'm going to change that, and in Minecraft uh, 1.17.x. So this one's for 1.17.1 1 or 1.17. I'm going to change this to 1.19. And then, in Fabric Loader, you need to figure out the Fabric Loader if you desire. When you've compiled the mod, it doesn't work, you're going to want to change this. So, I have open up Fabric, uh, the Fabric installer, or whatever, and see the loader version, or whatever version you are running. I would recommend doing the latest version and then downloading it. So I'm just going to install it, and this is going to be our loader version. So it was, for me, 0.14.7. Now this might be different, and will be different for you in the future. So now I'm going to save. That's it. Now in other mods, if you open up meta dot uh, dash inf and open up this, and sometimes there will be things in here. Like in here, I can change Minecraft version to 1.19. And in here, I'm going to change this to 14.6. Again, you're going to want to save and close out. So now that that is all done, you can highlight it all and send to compress zip file. Now this is our mod, so I'm going to call this hello. And we're going to want to change it from zip to jar. So now you're going to move this mod that we just compiled into your mods folder for Minecraft. You are also going to want to have Fabric API for the version you are using. Preferably the most recent version of Fabric API. Now mine is not for me, but do this anyway. You are going to want to make sure you are using the correct 
fabric launcher version that you set in your mod and load the game. And as you can see, because Minecraft is loading, my mod is working. But sometimes after this screen, it, the game will crash. Or if you open up certain menus that may, might change, it also might crash. So I'm going to open up my world and show you that it works. So now I've got my world open, and as you can see, if I go to sad, we go, got my sad dirt block, and I'm going to end off with the last command, slash hello.